He's the man at the center of the controversy surrounding the police response to the Uvalde school shooting. The district's police chief explaining today why he left his radio behind and why he did not think he was the one in charge of the response. We also got some new details today on how police responded to that Uvalde school shooting. And it's coming from the man who faced a lot of criticism over how everything was handled. Yeah, the school's police chief is now sharing his story in an interview that he gave with the Texas Tribune. Andrea Lucia reports on what we're all now learning. In his interview with the Texas Tribune, the Uvalde CISD police chief Pete Arredondo says he raced to stop a shooter and in the process chose to leave his radios behind. According to the article, he wanted both hands free to hold his gun, believed the radios would slow him down, and knew they didn't work in some school buildings. But that left him unable to communicate with some officers on scene and unaware of 911 calls still coming in from victims. Perhaps what is more surprising is that, that they knew that the radios were not working inside the buildings and they did not address that, right? Tarleton State Criminology Professor Alex Del Carmen says the chief's account reveals several weaknesses in security. I think another failure of protocol was the fact that the chief did not have a universal key to be able to get in in every single one of the classroom. Arredondo says he spent more than an hour in the hall outside the classroom the shooter had entered. According to the article, the classroom door reinforced with a hefty steel jam to keep the attacker on the outside from forcing their way in instead took away officers' ability to immediately kick in the door and confront the shooter. The Tribune reports Arredondo tried at least 26 different keys provided by staff. I was praying one of them was going to open the door each time I tried a key, he's quoted as saying. According to the article, the lights in the classroom had also been turned off, a lockdown measure that limited officers' views inside. Amid the confusion, Arredondo also told the Tribune he didn't realize he was the incident commander. He assumed some other officer had taken control of the larger response, while he took on the role of frontline responder as one of the first on scene. A state police have said it was Arredondo who was calling the shots that day. The New York Times reports that it was a team of officers from various agencies, including a border patrol, that finally made the decision to ignore previous orders and breach the classroom door. It is not clear how they did that, though Arredondo told the Tribune he understands they finally found the right key. Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News.